Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming. We are here today to announce that a federal grand jury in South Carolina has returned a 33-count indictment against Dylan Storm Ruth, charging him with federal hate crimes and firearms charges for killing and attempting to kill African-American parishioners at Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, because of their race and in order to interfere with their exercise of their religion. Will both work, however, to reduce any unnecessary burden to the families. And we feel that the behavior that is alleged to have occurred here is archetypal behavior that fits the federal hate crime statutes and vindicates their purpose. We have here a defendant who was alleged to have, ha have harbored discriminatory views towards African Americans, to have sought out an African American house of worship, one that was particularly noted because of its age and significance, and he also sought out African-American parishioners at worship, implicating several hate crime statutes. And we think that, that this is exactly the type of case that the federal hate crime statutes were in fact conceived of to cover. Racially motivated violence such as this is the original domestic terrorism. So that's primarily what you alleged in the indictment. Could you just speak to where we stand and what For these crimes, Ruth faces federal penalties up to life imprisonment or the death penalty. I note that no decision has been made on whether to seek the death penalty in this case. The department will follow our usual rigorous protocol to thoroughly consider all the factual and legal issues relevant to that decision 